Today we are at a little island in Krabi, Thailand. Ko Mai Pai. Let's go diving. Not diving. Snorkeling. You see a movie, spent all that I had. You say romantic comedies these days make you sad. Just empty and lonely, wishing for a world like that. I could never let you go You are the current, the river and the undertow I could never let you go You are the current, the river and the undertow A white dress and the cutting of cake A little house on seventh as the snow starts to flake Pretty soon that house is full of diapers and crying things Our daughter has a game so we load up the van The joy upon her face it keeps us warm in the stands and Boy is touring college His life just moves as fast as it can I could never let you go You are the current the river and the undertow Darling, I could never let you go You are the current, the river and the undertow So we're just heading off from Ko Mai Chai Ko Mai Pai Something, something along those lines, that island there We had a little snorkel over here, just along this area and um, it was actually quite nice. The viz wasn't that great, but there was some coral, nice looking coral. There was a few fish. Um, yeah, viz was pretty, pretty crappy, but we had a nice little time. Now we're gonna head to these islands in the distance. I think it's called Code Dam. Maybe not, I don't know what it's called. But we're gonna head over that way. Our friends are actually over anchored over there, so we're going to go over there and have Christmas with them. So we're pulling anchor. Take me. 
me back to the jungle We had a fun day with our friends and ended it with a Christmas feast. So it's Boxing Day, we've just pulled anchor uh, where we had Christmas yesterday and we're heading to Shillong today. We've got to go check into Malaysia because we officially haven't checked in yet so it's about 30, 30 nautical miles away and a little bit of wind from up the other side of there. That was a little pretty spot where we were. There was some cool uh, little islands. The views wasn't that great. There was we did a little bit of snorkeling yesterday, but that was okay. Nothing, nothing crazy good, but uh, it was a nice little spot. So that's so why we had a bit of a snorkel yesterday out here. Lee may have speared some cheeky little fish. It's Christmas in Australia. <laughs> we do seafood on Christmas Day. <laughs> I'm sure you'll let a fish here, we don't know. Yeah. We saw locals fishing. Well, the islands are pretty cool. Krabby's just over here. I think that's Krabby in the distance. We actually haven't been to Krabby and we could go check into Krabby, but we're gonna go to Phuket because we're heading up to the Surin Islands, which is the other way. So about a 30 nautical mile day today. Should be about six hours or less. Five, five four. four hours. Oh, we are hooking. At five points. We're going with the current. Or we just got a clean bum because somebody scrubbed it. Oh, clean bum. We arrived in Shillong Harbour, well across from it last night or yesterday. Um, and get up. Had some dinner last night, went to the beach, had some dinner. And today we're heading over to the harbour, the actual Shillong Harbour. Uh, Cause we're gonna go check into the country. So we'll go check into Thailand, stock up, fuel up, and we're gonna head North. We're gonna go up to Surin Islands, uh, maybe the Sembalan Islands as well, and check it out. It's supposed to be amazing diving, so we're pretty excited about that. Today we're just gonna go and provision, get some food, and check into the country. Check back into Thailand. Off to town to get some provisions, but to hire a car or get a taxi here is expensive. So we dropped the kids back to the boat, and Lee and I got a scooter, which cost approximately ten Australian dollars as opposed to hiring a car, which was about 50 Australian dollars. We then headed to the shops to get a few things. So we're gonna get all this on a motorbike. <laughs> How do you think we're going? Yeah, we're pretty loaded, I reckon. I think we're gonna struggle a little bit. Yeah. It's gonna be entertaining. We like to challenge ourselves. <laughs> We gotta get this and the backpack and me and Lee on this bike. And he can't even open up the seat. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Fun bag. <laughs> Fun bag. With a th thanks to some lovely people. We couldn't open that for a while. Get our helmets on first. We may need them. They like the whistles here.
Good driving, honey. That was unbelievable. Made it. Made it. Oh. Yeah, sideways. We made it back. Good driving, baby. Later, back on Catalpa, we could smell a funny smell, and Taj noticed that underneath him on the chair was getting really hot. Lee took a look, and it was our start battery. I think I'm only just sinking. We're right to go. True oh. Catalpa style. I know. We want to go. Lee's got limited time. We want to get up to. Some of the islands up north and go diving. And now we're going to sort out a problem. But luckily it happened here and not up there, right? Because mm. we can get a new battery if we need one here. So he's come to the conclusion that the battery's dead. And it's super hot. It's been unplugged for like how long? An hour. Mm -hmm. It's still super hot. And we're just concerned that it's going to explode and kill everyone. No biggie. Lee's just, Lee wants to take it out. We made him put these glasses on. I don't know what it's going to do. <laughs> your head blows off. You might have your eyes in there still. No, I'm serious. Like, you know, we've just been Googling the shit out of <laughs> can batteries explode? They don't cool down. Why is it so hot still? Oh, holy moly, that thing is heavy. That is a solid battery. Yeah, it's trying right to, out in the open. Oh, it's trying to get some cool air around it. It's <laughs> so hot. Alright, so I've pulled the battery out. It is like hot, you can barely touch it. It's a massive battery, it's four years old. Um, I don't know what's caused this to happen. It's not like we've played with anything electrical lately. It's just all of a sudden decided to get super hot and put off a bit of an odor. It is a sealed battery, but they can explode. Um, so I am sort of don't really want to move it while it's hot, but I also don't want it to explode in the cabin. So I think we're just gonna try and gently get it up at least onto the deck. And uh, just in case it goes back. Good job. I might even get you to help me. Are you alright with that? So he had success. He went in hunting. Didn't get what he actually wanted, but. Uh, oh, I wanted a sealed battery. It's not sealed. It's not quite the size I wanted, but. It'll do to get us up to the islands. So, hopefully that's all it is. We'll see if there any heat builds in the alternator or anything, whether it's the whole circuit's right. Let's see how this one goes. Hey, this is the old battery and take it ashore today. We can get some money back for it. Lee got the new battery yesterday and everything's all good. So I think we're here leaving Shillong today. Lee fits right in here. Who needs a car? Feel safe enough? Back in the back there. That's what they all say. Is that right? Yeah. We're going. We took our battery to get recycled and we got 30 bucks back, so that was worth it. Bing, 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 bing. We've driven how long and searched uh, so far search and we and finally search. found them. The size of these things, huh? The kids will be stoked. We're on a mission today to get fireworks for New Year's. Look at all this. He went so late. So excited. He keeps grabbing all these. There's just something I've never seen. Fireworks for ages. <laughs> this is a bigger range than Indo had. <laughs> oh, I've never seen such. Have a look at the size of these things. Look at this thing. 
one up. He wanted to get it. Hello. It's a little bit serious for us. You can't get that back on the bike, it's so heavy. But he did want to try. I told him that was all he could have. So we left Shillong Bay and we're heading around to Naihan Beach, which is another bay around the corner. It should be a little bit nicer. Shillong is uh, pretty much a port and there's a lot of traffic going in and out of there. So we actually have never been this far west in our boat. So we're coming into new anchorages, new grounds. Very exciting. So join us next time as we head north to some new islands. Cheers guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and to support these videos and help bring home our captain, you can join our Patreon family. Visit our website for more details and we'll see you later.